Hello F1 and IndyCar fans, it is August 17, 2019. Sorry for the uh, long delay from the last race of the Hungarian Grand Prix, but I've just either been so busy or enjoying myself as it has been summer break for F1 and IndyCar fans since then. Until tomorrow, when the IndyCars race again at Pocono, and I will be there in Victory Club. But that's not the point. To get on with the um, Hungarian Grand Prix, well, I hope you enjoyed your fill of goulash as well as I, but once again, if you're an anti-Mercedes and or Hamilton fan, I'm afraid the disappointment continues. He has won another victory with um, Max Verstappen finishing second and Sebastian Vettel third, which should secure his position at Ferrari for next year. Leclerc too, so they're not going anywhere for 2020. But what is happening though is, as for Verstappen's Red Bull teammate Pierre Gasly, he has been bumped back to Toro Rosso, and the Thai driver Alexander Albon is replacing um, Gasly at Aston Martin Red Bull in the next round for the rest of the season onward. In Belgium, which is September 1st, well, if um, Albon thinks, I mean, if um, Dr. Helmut Marko or Christian Horner, I don't know which one it is offhand, of the Aston Martin Red Bull racing team thinks that uh, Alexander Albon has what he's got to win races. Let's see if you, Alex, can tie one up. <laughs> I've heard rumors that there's the possibility of Pocono may not come back next year, and uh, this is going to be very, very disappointing because I love going there. I've been going to the Victory Club paying top dollar for that race every year since IndyCars returned in 2013. Loving it, loving it, loving it. And it's a good thing, too, because I'm from the Northeast, and for the IndyCar season to not return to the Northeast like Watkins Glen or Baltimore, Pocono or Nazareth, or even Richmond, is a shame for a lot of us. I still go to Indy whenever I can, yes, but... Still, like, we need races up here in the northeastern United States. Especially in Pennsylvania, because that's where I'm from. David Land on YouTube, you were correct about one thing. I share your sentiment. We need races here in the northeast. But that's why I also try my best to go to Pocono whenever I can. I'll be certainly going, and I pay top dollar for every race that I've been to at Pocono. Where, for what it's worth for the uh, IndyCar race to maintain... Um, it's an uh, image and to uh, look good financially for Pocono Raceway. And naturally, we'll see if um, Scott Dixon can do a, another championship victory. His sixth, can he do it? We will see. It's most likely now that um, Hamilton, I wouldn't bet on anyone else from him winning the championship and Mercedes the Constructors. Eh, well, that's how it is. In other news, um, Arrow Schmidt Peterson Motorsport is merging with McLaren Racing as McLaren is every intention of going full time next year in the Indy cars. The only downside is for us Honda fans, it's not going to be because Schmidt, even Schmidt's not happy about this, has to switch to Chevy because of McLaren. And why couldn't they be McLaren Honda like they were? Well, if you, in case you haven't read the news, McLaren foolishly badmouthed Honda for their lackluster performance in Formula One in uh, 2015, and Alonso had something bad to say about it too, especially when his engine blew in 2017. Alonso, you shouldn't have done that. No! 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 Because for one thing, I liked you with Honda, and so does any other Honda fan. And despite the fact you blew it. Another Honda did not, and that was Takuma Sato, as you know by now. Good times. <sighs> well, can you hear the drums, Fernando? They're the drums telling you to come back to India anyhow, try it again, and um, even with Chevy, I hope you win. And I just hope you uh, actually don't uh, fail to qualify this time and make it. And where does that leave Hinchcliffe? Still stuck with Chevy? Like, has to maintain his contract with Aero Schmidt Peterson Miller's support with the Chevys. Where's Marcus? As for Hinch's teammate Marcus Erickson, I don't know where he'll be next year, but I sincerely hope he maintains his IndyCar presence with Honda and if some other team, maybe not Schmidt, but Andretti would be nice. Colton Hurt is still set to stay with the Andretti lineup uh, next year. 
and um, we'll see what happens. But as for the whole um, McLaren and Chevy thing, for us Honda fans, it's another pie in the face for us. <laughs> Tune in! 2 o'clock tomorrow on NBC Sports Network, the green flag flies again for IndyCars in Pocono. Who will maintain their victorious form at the Tricky Triangle? Will Alexander Rossi make it a back-to-back? -back? Or will Dixon come back like he did in 2013? Or will Marco and Trudy finally win one for uh, the local Pennsylvanians like me? Only time will tell. See you at Pocono, especially you, David Lane, on YouTube if you're there. I'm Aaron Cylinder, firing on all cylinders.